I really like a tighter wave pattern, but not too tight. If that makes any sense to you, probably not, but I can envision it in my own head. Well, hey there, wig friends. Welcome back to my channel. I am Nikki, and I am so happy you are here. You are going to want to join this party and subscribe. Of course, all you have to do is click the button down below to do that, because I don't want you to miss any of my uploads, especially if you're into wig reviews, because I bring you lots and lots of lots of them. <laughs> I bring you the new drops, the oldies, but goodies, and everything else in between, so please, just click it. You won't regret it. And if you have already subscribed, thank you so very much. I greatly do appreciate it. So today I'm reviewing this wig I'm wearing right now. And of course, you're going to want to watch this video all the way through so you don't miss any information I'm going to be telling you because I'm going to be letting you know everything you need to know. And in return, I love to hear your feedback. So please kindly give me your thoughts down in the comments. Be respectful, of course. And also, if there is a wig you'd like me to review, just jot that down in there as well. And I will happily look into it for you. Plus, if you are into finding some wigs at a cheaper price, you're going to want to check out my Poshmark closet. I have a lot of wigs for sale in there. And the link to my closet is in the description box. I always have my intro that I always do, so let's get on with it. All right, so today I have a new drop from Main Concept. She is in the style of Viola, which happens to be my grandmother's name, so I love that. <laughs> but anyway, she is an HD lace front from the HD Slick Tempo collection. That's something new to me, never reviewed this collection before. Uh, but I have her in the color ST4 slash Beige Honey, and that's this color you see right there. And of course, she's available in a few other colors if you want to pause it and read. It's listed right there. Uh, so some of her other features include a four inch deep parting space with baby hair. She has natural pre-plucked hairline and skin tone adapting lace. She is also heat safe. We just don't know to what degree. And I picked her up from Elevate Styles for $34.31. And of course, I can't start off my videos without showing you what I'm wearing for my eyeshadow look. So today I am wearing the All I See Is Signs palette from P. Louise. And here are those shades. In my opinion, this is a really good fall palette. Okay. So, Miss Viola. First of all, I am in such a good mood today. For those of you who don't know, I live in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It gets really chilly around this time of year, but today, however, it's like over 70 degrees. So I am loving that, and I'm loving this wig. Oh, it's going to be the perfect day, I hope. <laughs> I just am so happy with this style. I think that she is a great daily look, so you can wear her to work and then out on the town afterwards. She's a great pop on your head and go, in my opinion. So I think it's beautiful. I love the waves, but I'm very pleasantly surprised with the color because lately I've noticed a lot of times that the stock photo uh, shows the color to be lighter than what you actually get in reality. But in this situation, it's the opposite. So I'm just going to show you here again. And, and look here, the roots there look more like a two or a one B, but 
thankfully you are getting a number four here. And I've never reviewed this color before either, so I'm, we're gonna talk about that first right away. And I'll be honest, it is a little harsh in my opinion um, because you don't want it to look like outgrowth, you want it to look intentional. So um, I think it would have been better just a little higher up, but thankfully they did do the blending well, so I guess I can't complain too much with that. So it does look more professional, but I just love this. Oh, color here. It's so beautiful. I love the different tones because you have the 613. You have the four mixed in there just to kind of give it a little bit of a different contrast. So I think it's just gorgeous. Just absolutely gorgeous. And of course she has some beautiful luster which is to be expected. And uh, her texture is that perfect combination and balance of silkiness and coarseness. So she feels very realistic and very soft. And plus this is the greatest type of multicultural texture. Again, that's my opinion, but that means she will work out for everybody. Uh, her length, I would say is probably about 20 inches. I'm gonna stand up a little bit here so you can see better. I do like the ends with the cut, but what I really love, are these waves. She does have some layers too, but just look at these waves. And she has such beautiful body and movement. It's very natural. She's lightweight, but just look at that. Mm, I love that. I just love it. Oh my gosh. Because with this type of wave pattern, I really like a tighter wave pattern, but not too tight. If that makes any sense to you, probably not, but I can envision it in my own head. I'm just trying to put it into words for you, but this is it, okay? Th this is what I like. So I'm very, very pleased with this. It's so pretty. Uh, her density is perfect too. So she does have volume, but she's not overwhelming. I like to have it look more natural, which I totally think this is. I really like this too, where she has this little tiny layer right here that just kind of swoops off to the side. It's not a whole lot. It's just a little thinner strand, but I think that's really cute and just gives it a little extra touch. So I'm pleased with that. Uh, let me show you though what she looks like from the back. Mm-hmm, <laughs> so let me pull her all forward. Um, all right, so let me just get situated here. Okay, now tangling, she's actually not that bad for tangle. So I was a little surprised by that too because normally with a style like this, you would think she'd be a tangling mass. I mean, granted, there's a few tangles, but these fibers are Konecalon, which I prefer. That's just my preference, but I find them to be more natural and also easier to work with. So I think that actually does contribute to the fact that she's not tangling all that bad. So as you can see, I'm just running my fingers through her and the small amount of tangles that did come across actually came out very easily. So I don't think she's gonna be difficult to manage throughout the time that you are wearing her. Uh, and also she's not gonna get damaged quickly either. So again, this is a wig that you can just not have to worry about the entire time you're wearing her. Just put her on and go about your day and look fabulous the entire time. So what do you have to complain about that? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> but I am only using my fingers to comb through her. That's just the way I like to do it. And I think that's really all you need to do anyway. Uh, shedding isn't anything too severe. Just pretty much the basic amount you would expect from any other synthetic unit. And I also really like the fact that she has a center part just because one, I like center parts, but it's mostly because of the style here. I just think that looks better um, down the center. But again, her parting space is four inches. Uh, it is pre-plucked, so I didn't have to do anything to it. I think the depth and width is natural looking. She is laying very flat, which is important, so very easy to blend. And again, she has some baby hairs. Now, a couple of my own baby hairs are sticking out, 
but her baby hair situation isn't all that bad. So let me just kind of show you here. So if you like to lay them down, I think these would be really easy to do that with. But if you like to wear them naturally out like the way I do, I always call it wispies, I think it looks extremely natural that way too. Because of course you want this to look natural and I think in my opinion it really is looking that way. Um, but it says on the stock card that, I just want to say the wording correctly, natural pre-plucked hairline. So let's examine that a little bit further, shall we? All right, so I'm going to lift her up here. I have to disagree with that. I really don't think this is naturally pre-plucked. Look at that. And these are my own baby hairs. Sorry about that. But this along here is what we're talking about. And it just does not look pre-plucked at all to me. Is it bad? Of course not. I'm not going to complain about it, but I am going to complain about it if it says pre-plucked and then it turns out not to be. So that is why I'm a little upset over it. And of course, you have the same thing over here. As you can see, you have a little bit of lift up too, which is to be expected as well. But... Yeah, that's pretty thick. The only part that is pre-plucked appropriately is right here along the parting space. Everything else is not. It's just typical lace front wig as you would get anywhere else. So I am disappointed with that. I'm kind of getting used to that, but at the same time, I'm not. Still doesn't make it any easier or Something not to get upset about. But anyway, I'm not going to dwell on it much longer. You get my drift. That's just going to leave it at that. But, of course, this is one of those styles where it really doesn't matter all too much unless you wanted to, you know, like, tuck her behind the ear or something or be pulling it back, uh, which does happen, especially with this layer here. You are going to kind of sometimes want to uh, fiddle with that just to kind of keep it in its natural state but other than that out of sight out of mind but anyway um I think though that she does fit appropriately around the edges here and she is above each ear uh, she does have ear tabs uh, they do actually bend so I think that's really nice sometimes that does help for comfort uh, she is actually comfortable to wear overall, and I do actually think she is larger head friendly. So I actually do really love this wig, though. I can overlook the pre-plucking, especially since I didn't pay a huge price difference for that. I mean, she was still in that great uh, affordable price range. So I'm just going to say I'm going to give her thumbs up. <laughs> Okay, but of course I want you to know everything so you can decide if she's right for you or not. If something is super important to you, but not to somebody else, then that's why you make the decision that you do. And that's also why I don't want to leave out any info. But overall, yeah, I like her. I'm going to have fun wearing her. And I think a lot of you will have fun wearing her too. So that is my review and recommendation from Miss Viola. Don't forget to tell me your thoughts down in the comments. Let me know if you already picked her up. Tell me how you feel about her now that you do have her. And please also let me know if you decide to go pick her up after watching this review. And that's it for today. But thank you, thank you for watching. I always appreciate it. And I guess I'll just catch you next time. So until next time. Bye-bye.